Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. So, um, <laughs> my friend has been playing on my file, clearly there with the wind streak. But what am I gonna do today? I actually have a lot to do. Um, and one of those things is Blue Baby, so I'm gonna be Blue Baby right away since I have like nothing as Blue Baby. And hopefully I can actually improve, I haven't been playing as much Isaac as I may have initially liked to. Which is why I am very, very, very much behind the eight ball in terms of what I already have unlocked. And as you can see, I'm kind of behind the eight ball in terms of my play as well. Although I'm getting this slowdown again. Just a second, I'm going to close some background programs right away. Forgive the interruption. There we go, that is my internet. I'm going to have to um, probably correct... I, I, I just closed like a ton of internet without... Uh Oh my god. Oh, that flashing. Okay, let's see if that makes it any better. Makes it a bit better, and I've already taken a spirit heart and a half damage. Damn, that is bad. Okay, you know, it's still doable. It is still very doable. I just accidentally blocked Lust's path, which actually made it a bit harder for me to dodge properly. Um, But still no excuse for what just happened there. Cause something's gonna happen soon. Yeah, health up. I'm super psyched about that health up. Always following the same direction those guys are going if you come across that room. And always kill as many of these guys as possible before they get anywhere near you. I'm giving tips on the first two floors now. Which is definitely not good. So what's my, what's my strategy? What am I doing right here? Why am I so gray as compared to normal? Well... It's basically going to be deal with the devil meta all the way, and I will as often as possible try to um, destroy Poo, because you know, I could use the money, I'm already at 6 cents, I could spawn an arcade on the next floor, and an arcade could lead me to getting the consumables I need in order to get into the item room shop, and all that exciting stuff. Um, so far, this is not looking like a room where boss rush is possible, but you never know what's going to happen, maybe first deal with the devil is going to be brimstone. Riff raff spiders, I don't buy that if only he'd cry closer. Um, okay, some pheromones, not very useful. Um, I always hate these rooms with the bomb spiders because I always want to blow them up near the pots and I never can without just killing myself as I just did. It's not my favorite. Uh, in, believe it or not, I'm actually kind of hoping for a bomb type item. Okay, 2020. Suddenly, any excuse I had to lose is way out the window, because 2020 is pretty much a double damage upgrade, especially on bosses. I just really wish I had gotten some um, bombs on this floor, because there's two tinted rocks. And I really want to go here, too. Okay, I get pills. One's a health upgrade, so that pays for this, and the other is a mystery. A luck down. Damn. Oh, there, there goes my dreams of gambling. Wham bam, gamble man. Except I'm not the gamble man because now I have luck down. That's no good for me at all. Okay, so fighting the haunt on floor one, um, could be worse. I could be, um, actually, it couldn't be much worse. Generally, it's worse to fight the haunt on floor two if only because. If only because it prevents you from getting a deal with the devil, but since I have only spirit hearts anyways. And I know they're called soul hearts. I, the first person I ever heard talk about them called them spirit hearts. And that's what I'm going with. Actually, the first person I ever heard talk about initially called them like machine hearts or something or robotic hearts. But that is besides the point. Um, yeah, usually it's worse to fight it on floor two, but since I don't actually have um, a million dollars, I don't have a million dollars. I don't have a million dollars or even a hundred pennies for that matter or even 200 pennies inside the slot machine, which is real sad. This room is fucking fantastic if I can get one bomb. Too bad I got that luck downgrade. I'll have to remember where that room is. I'm liking that damage upgrade. Killing flies in one shot is nothing to scoff at here. As there's a spirit heart in there, there's a bunch of good stuff that I really want. And you know what would be really good here? Stompy. I usually don't ask for Stompy specifically, but there's a lot of pots in this room. There's a lot of pot in this room, too. I can just it reeks. And here is my chance for bombs. Do not drop only, like, two troll bombs. I will never forgive you, Super Wrath. Oh, he got that stuck behind him. Yes! 
Oh man, and he found the secret room for me. This is an awesome boss fight. Okay, he gave me Mr. Mega. Oh no, he, yeah, okay, yes, that is Mr. Mega. For a second I thought that was Mr. Boom. Hey there, Mr. Boom. Let's all go and do some shrooms. I'm gonna keep this battery here. Why am I all about the drug talk today? Don't know what that's all about. I'm gonna keep that battery there, though. Because, 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 that battery will help me in the future. Okay, interesting. Um, in the future, that battery will help me get, I, I can't talk, I can't speak. Um, if I pick up a, really guys? Oh, okay, well I'm putting one more bomb down even though it might be a bit of a waste. Throwing my poop down, killing the poop, grabbing that spirit heart. Um, I want to keep these spirit hearts for now. Although not forever, and I forget what I was talking about. Oh yes, if I get to the item room and it's a space bar item that's worth using more than once, I will appreciate that I saved that. Is what I was trying to get at there forever and just kept forgetting because of my poor bomb placement. There we go, got some pennies, got a boss trap room. Pretty much entirely worth fighting, even if it is just for one pill. What is, what's the pill? Hematomesis. Wow. And now I wish I had not come down here. Despite my luck down, I actually do have a fair amount of um, of consumables on me, including 14 cents. One more cent is enough to go to the shop. So it's probably incredibly worthwhile for me to shoot all that poop out there, which it's always incredibly worthwhile for you to shoot. Larry J's. Larry J is not my lover. He's just a worm that's covered in crazy blood. Also, he's, he's not my son. I just thought I should tell you guys that. Be kind of disturbing if Larry Jr. was my son, although if he was my son, I, I guess if your son looks like Larry Jr., first of all, I'm so sorry. That is a horrible deformity. Second, try to kiss, try to still love him. <laughs> although I'm not sure how anybody would ever look anything like Larry Jr., so unrealistic situation is unrealistic. This isn't an XL and a Curse of Blindness, right? That doesn't make any sense. Fairly easy to deal with. I get myself a tinted rock and an easy kill and an extra penny. This is working out real well for me so far. Oh man. I think with Mr. Mega, I can actually go ahead and get both of these by placing a bomb right in the middle here. Yeah, two bombs for one bomb and two pennies. Seems like an awesome deal to me. I'm taking these first two floors real goddamn slow, but it's because of the Curse of Blindness and because I really want to um, do my due diligence and get a victory here, probably a chest victory to start with. I'll go with the dark room later. Unless I become incredibly overpowered, which a little brimstone, gotta admit, is a help towards that goal. To really also do all the challenge runs. Man, I am way behind on my Isaac. I, I think I went over this last time I did an episode, but it it's just hitting me again. So as it turns out, I did not get another spacebar item. Just uh, a, well, a pretty damn good item in its own right. But that's all right. This is very good. Fanny pack will pretty much sort out my consumable issues, and I'm willing to actually donate all four of my remaining cents for now. Although I maybe should have left one cent remaining and then blown up some things in the arcade in order to get more money, more keys, more bombs. But I made a mistake. I, I think I should be trying to donate as much as possible, get to that 999. And this was another mistake, I actually should have put that bomb up here to try to get a second secret room or something. Oh well, again, my, my play's a bit rusty, I haven't played Isaac in quite a long time, other than that last episode of the Let's Play that I posted. But remember, my computer wasn't recording it properly for quite a while, I have one key back. Um, thank Betsy for that. Oh, petrified poop plus the poop. Pretty good combination for just like lots and lots of money. And I am really in the mood for some donations today. Donation time, we have a donation here. Wow, it's been a while since I've heard that. I should run another drunk stream or something just so I can hear that sound again. That sound, donation time. My old timey radio voice. Oh, so now shooting all the poop is infinitely more worthwhile than it even used to be. I consider taking Necronomicon. I'm probably now in the running for deals with the angel instead of deals with the devil. But, 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 I, I could not bring myself to think that was at all worth it. 
Okay, so let's grab that penny. I can actually enter the the what's it called room with that. The arcade, as some people really like to call it, because that's the name of the thing that I want to enter. And then I'm pretty sure what I want to do is just blow this up and blow this up. See what I get? An ex the extra key is incredibly worthwhile. The pennies are also very, very worthwhile. And I will donate. And the machine's broken. I'm done donating for now. Lovely. I'm going to take a drink of my coffee here. Mmm, that's some damn fine coffee. Damn, damn fine coffee. And juicy and seedless, as I am fond of saying. Okay, so, so three red chests, that is a fair chance at, well, A, more pills, B, guppy items, so... Definitely worth taking a look. And, you know, I this is caves part two, or the catacombs, or whatever part two. Pretty easy waves, if I do say so myself. These are even eyeless ooze guys, not even eyeful ooze guys. Little bit of advice, always stand in the middle and never forget that you have little brimstone if you have it, because little brimstone is way too goddamn good. Get an extra key in return, an extra spirit heart that can make deals with the devil worthwhile. If I keep up my half decent play, paralysis and a health upgrade. Keep on shooting that poop. It's best to run through those rooms before those things that even have a chance to attack. And I should really be actually firing from across the map on bonies since I have the option. And Midas Touched. So Midas Touch is amazing if you have any form of invincibility. And um, Champion's Bell, wow, I'm getting lots of good damage upgrades here. And there's some other good stuff in here. I do want it, but it doesn't matter if I want it back because I've given it away, I've given it away. That's a song that very few people probably know. Oh, okay, well at least Fanny Pack paid it with a bomb for me. Kinda disappointed about my loss there. Can, can you guys, like, get in my range? Get on my level? I'm, I'm really just trying to, like, angle shots in at this red one here. I did get a penny there, so, you know, my finances are looking up. One penny is all I needed at this moment. Pheromones, an extra bomb. Um, you know, pheromones pretty good on this room. So, yeah, they just killed each other no problem. Excellent, two extra black hearts, meaning one extra black heart, meaning that was entirely worth it. I'm pretty sure on average those pay out better than they cost. Like, not incredibly better, just slightly, and like I said, on average over time. Which is why I always go to the curse room. I just need more range. I would, I would not mind a range upgrade at this point. Get myself one extra penny, some poop to shoot. And no pennies from that. Damn. Wow, that was that was a very easy room. And I'm actually kind of amazed at how many drops I'm getting despite having, like, the world's lowest luck. Well, not the world's lowest. I'm sure I have just under base luck. Let's put it that way instead. That is considerably more accurate. It's considerably more accurate. I should really remember that I have, um... That I have... Little Brimstone... Because Little Brimstone, can we find another way? No more living life behind the shadows. Oh my god. The guy had a lot of health. He gave me a bomb and a key for the room, so no complaints there, I guess. And I do... I, can, I cannot help but notice that Tinted Rock. I'm not guaranteed to deal with the Devil, but I'm fairly likely to get one. I'm pretty sure since I had one on the last floor, my chances dropped to 50%. Um... The thing is, Little Brimstone doesn't actually interrupt your shooting pattern, but it seems like it does. All you have to do is let go of your shots very, very briefly. If you time it right, there will be no pause. Oh, really? Oh, now I feel like a goddamn idiot. Well, I still ended up a spirit heart up on that. No deal with the devil, though. And, um, I've been to my item room and my shop. I think I'm just gonna get out of here and try to get the boss trap room done, even though I'm already behind, like, one full floor. I can maybe catch up if I do everything else really quickly. And when I say really quickly, I mean really goddamn quickly. I have to kind of rush this. Rush this shit, as it were. I think um, squirts should be more likely to drop items when you have petrified poop. Makes sense to me. What's in here? Is it three red chests? Is it... 
Fine, I'll get Big Beautiful Fly. Big Be Beautiful Fly, pretty awesome. Synergizes with your um, Mr. Mega, which you know makes it more likely that it's gonna hit you now that I think about it, but also makes it do more damage, so you know, that's always good. Oh my god. All the damage. At least I'm getting lots of money due to Midas Touch here. There we go. Always be in line to, always be in time to do a line of cocaine. Don't do a line of cocaine, kids. Especially not at parties where cocaine is not acceptable. I've seen a lot of assholes just like whip out cocaine at a party, and you're like, dude, yeah, do you know if the host's all right with this? Is this is a thing you want to be doing right now? Like, it's making me uncomfortable. I'm not a big fan of people on cocaine because they're kind of aggressive. It's literally one of the things cocaine does. Yeah, so so don't do cocaine at part. Don't do cocaine ever. It's like one of the most behavioral behaviorally damaging drugs. Oh my god. That was super cool actually. I, I really like how that turned out for me. I don't like that this guy's dropping creep everywhere. This is kind of why I'm trying to focus him down. Get myself a bomb and get to move on. Move on like a bomb. Go into prom with my mom. <laughs> um, so Sharp Plug allows me to charge things for the cost of a couple hearts. I'm just gonna pick up this Spirit Heart and Booker because I don't like Sharp Plug much. Just being honest. Just being honest? I do like myself some honesty beans. Sounds like a, some sort of weird, inconspicuous name for a truth serum that they'd use in a fantasy. Oh, don't worry, they're just honesty beans. They just make you honest. Now feed him, feed him the beans, shove him down his throat. And honesty beans, man, intense shit. They're only used, for, and, and they're torturous, they actually make you die after, they're poisonous. So you spout the truth for like 15 minutes and then you just die. Pretty sure there's been several things like that in fantasy novels, probably tons of fantasy novels. Didn't even have time to realize that this was the champion version of, of um, Gertie. I really don't want that. Wow, um, I kind of want to move on to the next floor in order to get everything done as quickly as possible, but I'd really like to find my item room. Oh my god, he snuck up behind me like a bitch. I'm taking so much damage. That's the super fast variant. Okay, shoot my poop, move on. Where's my sh item room? I need it. Item room. Oh, item room, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Oh my god, things are coming apart at the seams here, guys. Not sure how what I think about this. I think that I'm going too slowly to probably do the boss trap. I do have the damage for it, but I'm taking damage because I'm trying to rush. Um, I think it's impossible for the item room to be adjacent to that, so I might as well go this way instead. Make a run for it. Okay. Item room, um, it's all right. Mysterious liquid causes like some splash creep damage on the floor where the tears land or hit. Doesn't last long, doesn't do that much damage. It's all right, I guess. Oh God, and it, that's a full spirit heart. I have to take it, especially after all the damage I've taken. That's why you always shoot the poop. Well, I, I realize there's also two cents there and I could get sharp plug. But I really don't want sharp plug. It could be useful later. I, I realize that, but I'm not high enough. I'm not high enough right now. <laughs> I'm never high enough for a sharp plug. Whoa, that is kind of a risky room. I almost got damaged by big fly too. Big beautiful fly. Are you totally high? There we go. Fairly easy situation. Need to kill that guy in the middle before he shoots a bunch of bullets at me. I really don't like those guys. I, I don't know their attack patterns, really. Like, I, I don't know which direction the bullets are supposed to come from. Big Beautiful Fly doing some crazy work for us here to speed us up. Oh my god, that guy just spawned so many flies he was forced to change directions. Fortunately, right into my bullets where he then died, but... I'm, I'm liking my damage at the very least. It's damaging to say the least. I really want Big Beautiful Fly to go off here and kill some of these skulls for me, maybe get me like an Emperor card. But in all honesty, I don't even know exactly where it is now. 
So I'm just putting that down. Got myself uh, whatever that's called, a hive, I think. Put down two more bombs, try to get some tarot cards. Wheel of Fortune and the Empress. Okay, Empress is good enough for now. Found my item room. It's my reflection, might as well take it. It doesn't do much for me at the moment, but maybe some at a later day it will do something. Something or other, I don't know. Should be a fairly easy room, all things considered. Don't want to get too close to the enemies or else um, I'm at risk of getting killed by my own big beautiful fly, which happened there. I thought that was far enough away. Okay, fortunately that was fairly easy. I'm thinking if I go into the middle there and place one bomb, I should be able to get quite a few of these, like all of them, especially with my range upgrade. I'm completely forgetting about um, about little brimstone. Joker card is fantastic. Judgment card is also pretty fantastic. Although I very much doubt I have time to get to the boss trap room at this point. Um, just play, you asshole. Okay, unless one of these is an Emperor card, I'm pretty much fucked. No, it isn't. Okay, take the Joker card, um, play this guy the rest of the way down, stop rushing, stop shooting. Oh my god. Pay the fuck out. Okay, you're getting blown up. I don't even care. This is about vengeance now. My sweet revenge will be yours. For the taking, it's in the making, baby. Ah, 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 ah. Um, I saw her laugh, and then she said, then she said, go away. Um, so I have three cents remaining. Can't really afford anything there, unfortunately. Haven't been shooting my poop properly. There we go, there's five cents. Let's grab a spirit heart, since it is essentially necessary. Um, I don't want to use this Joker card yet because I'm probably going to get a deal with the devil anyways and Abaddon would save my goddamn life. And so would a lot of deals with the devil actually. Pretty much anything that's like a major attack deal with the devil would pretty much carry me through the rest of the game. I don't really need, my life doesn't really need saving right now. So much as I could use like a, a hard carry or something. Oh god, okay. Almost got hit there. I'm still thinking this is probably the right, right way to go to go to the boss room. Uh, I left my Joker card behind, because I was looking at the map. Let's get that smaller. Don't really need a different card at this moment. Come on. Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die. Trick is to realize these guys are essentially silkworms and then to take damage to your own big beautiful fly. That's generally step number two in any of my plans. I, I really should not have taken him when I wasn't ready for the consequences. Especially with Mr. Mega, he becomes considerably harder to dodge. Are you ever going to um like pop back up again? Like you get knocked down, but then you don't seem to ever get up again. Which um is, is a bit of a pain in the ass, I'm just gonna be honest here. Oh my god, you get, get out of here. Oh my god! You asshole! Ah! These teleport- I was clearly like telefragged three times there. Okay, at least I get flight plus HP upgrade. That's pretty good. I'm going to take this. It's not a stat shuffle and it's risky. Um, it, it made my tears rate much higher. Um, looks like my damage might be the same. Okay, either way down to the next floor. So I'm gonna wait to see if I get a deal with the devil on this floor and then I'm going to be using my joker card if I don't. Unless I get another joker card just like right here. In which case I'll, de I'll definitely um use it pretty much because there's no reason not to in that case. And I will definitely be using bombs in order to um, blow up as much of this shit as possible. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do at all. Okay, this guy has to die. And one more bomb there should take care of the rest. Grab that black heart. Justice is real good. Well, justice is real all right, I guess, is more likely the situation. Emperor card. 
Might as well keep the Joker. I'm not planning on rushing through this anyways. Might be better for me to take the Emperor, though, now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Could save me a lot of time, especially on a harder floor. Could maybe easily beat the lamb with it. I haven't been shooting my poop either. Which is a shame with petrified poop. Well, good thing he had a moment and I couldn't, he couldn't hit me, but I could hit him. Because that was far too bad. Oh, hey, hey the husk. I seem to be in a terrible position. Seem to have succumbed to a terrible fate, or seems you have met a terrible fate, I think the line actually is. There we go. Shoot the poop and move on. Carry on my wayward blue baby. There'll be peace when you go crazy. I'm considering just blowing this guy up. I'm pretty sure if I, oh, or maybe I can play him for seven cents. Maybe he'll pay out, and if he doesn't pay out, I'll blow him up and get an increased chance of a deal with the devil. Okay, I, I kind of wanted that anyways, let's be honest here, and I got a spirit heart. I'm, I'd be willing to trade a bomb for spirit heart on most days. Oh, okay, more pills, lemon party, hematomesis, fuck off. Excellent. This should be fairly easy, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not. Should be shooting all the poop, of course. Of course, and you ever shoot that poop? Of course. Um, I, re I realize I left a penny there. In all honesty, I can't really be asked for to care, because at the moment, let's be honest, I am tilting a bit. It's I, I'm I'm just playing emotionally. I'm going too fast and too furious, like the like the world famous um pretty much agreed upon best movie that ever was ever made. I'm fairly certain. I think it won like all the Oscars that year, including best romantic comedy. I'm not even sure if there is an Oscar for best romantic comedy. In all honesty, I kind of hope not. It's like the lowest, it, well, it's not the lowest form of art. I've very rarely watched good romantic comedies though. Usually there are bad romantic comedies. Okay, uh, let's see, I get the devil, I get strength. Strength I'm pretty sure actually just gives me a spirit heart. We'll see if that leaves me on the next room, but I'm fairly certain I'm correct that it just gives me the spirit heart. Um, no it doesn't. Okay, fair enough. It does give me a one room spirit heart, so it might have been good to use on like this fight for instance. Ow. Come on, step on me. Step on me, step on me strongly when you say good night. Um, use Midas touch once in a lifetime when you say good night. Long ago, it seems so long ago. There we go. Um, got to deal with the angel there. It's pretty much one to two spirit hearts per floor. You might as well use it whenever. And I'm down to Utero 1. Not a good time to use the Joker card because I could actually earn a deal with the devil here instead of having to pay for one. And on the cathedral, I cannot, so now that's what I'm thinking. That's where my thinking's going. I really gotta play, pay more attention to Big Beautiful Fly here, since things are actually looking pretty dire. Um, fly here, I did not rhyme there. It was close to a rhyme. Big Beautiful Fly, of course, taking away my spirit hearts. I am currently at three spirit hearts. I have flying, so this does not matter. Ooh, a luck down pill. Pretty much ideal. If I do say so myself. Oh god. Did I not take damage to Big Beautiful Fly? It didn't seem to have permanent Polaroid invincibility. I'm down to two spirit hearts. The tilt is goddamn real. That's all I can say about that. You're gonna blow up when you die. But you're not gonna kill your two summons, huh? And one spirit heart. Oh my god, okay. Um, fortunately, I didn't succumb to the big, beautiful fly death there. Gotta use that. Like, I absolutely have to use that or else I'm so fucking dead. Is what I'm trying to get at there. No, nothing's blowing anybody up anymore? No big, beautiful fly? Okay, lovely. Are there any tinted rocks? Um, not that I can see. 
Is that guy one of the ones that becomes invisible? Yes, he is. Okay, I was really hoping for something other than money there, but you know, I'll take what I can get. And apparently what I can get right now is um, almost absolutely nothing. But, you know, sometimes absolutely nothing is the best thing you can get. And failure. So that was my own fault. Oh, a really bad play coupled with lack of practice. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, especially comment, and subscribe. Like, that S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-D. I, I don't like I. Eyes, I guess. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.